Community Conversation, we're joined by Andy Pillifont, the Director of Communications for the Paramount Theater. He's sitting down with Steve. All right, and we start with, boy, talk about a big name, a big name in the terms of stage present and on the stage. Yeah, it's about as big as it gets, especially if you're talking about Broadway. Uh, Patty Lapone will be with us at the Paramount. This will be in February on the 4th. Um, and she's bringing a show called A Life in Notes. Um, this will kind of be a reflection on her life and her career. Um, it will cover some songs and stories from, from the 50s and kind of the rise of, of rock and roll to the turbulent uh, 60s. And then, you know, when she finds success as a Broadway performer. Um, so she made her live performance debut in 1971, her Broadway deb debut in 1973. She's been at it for a very, very long time. She's part of the first graduating drama class at Juilliard. She's a New York Times bestselling author. She's done tons of TV, tons of movies. She's a very, very big deal. We're very, very excited to have her in February. Uh, that same week in February, a different sound, but certainly also a legend on the stage. Billy F. Gibbons, the BFG himself. Uh, you might be able to tell from that graphic there, just based on the beard, <laughs> um, uh, ZZ Top. Uh, that band was together for over 50 years. Um, and Billy Gibbons is really, truly uh, a, a renaissance man. He's kind of into everything, including the guitar. Um, really one of the greatest guitarists ever, if you're asking Rolling Stone. Um, he's got three solo albums to his credit, and so he'll be playing some of those uh, songs with uh, this band. Um, and I mean, you know, if you're a fan of ZZ Top, if you're a fan of Texas, if you're a fan of cars, there's so many ways to get into Billy F. Gibbons. We're really excited about that one. That'll be on Friday, February 7th. He certainly has a distinctive sound, as does Melissa Etheridge. <sighs> yeah, sigh. I, w where to start with Melissa Etheridge? I mean, she has been at it since I think 1989 is when her first album came out. Um, she has since become so big um so renowned so adored i mean if you've turned the radio on in the last 35 years you're singing along to one of her songs she's bringing her spring tour to the theater on april 15th which is tax day so get those taxes done and then come celebrate with us at the theater and she'll be giving a dollar of every ticket to the etheridge foundation um, which works to combat the opioid crisis um, so you're giving to a good, uh, a good cause in, in buying your ticket, and that's a very Melissa Etheridge thing to do. And a unique experience, an opportunity here with a classic movie from, it's been two decades now. Yeah, can you believe it? I can't believe it. Um, Napoleon Dynamite, live. So what this means is we'll show the movie, and then we'll be joined by Napoleon himself, John Hader, uh, Pedro, Ephraim Ramirez, and of course, Uncle Rico, John Grise, and they will do kind of a live conversation Q&A, um, live on stage, um, you know, maybe one of the most quotable movies of the last 20 years, certainly one of the most successful independent films of the last 20 years. Um, every time I watch it, and I'm in the dozens at this point, I still laugh. It's a great movie. We're very excited. May 22nd. Lots of great announcements. Andy, appreciate it as always. You bet. Eric.